Have you enjoyed your time at E3, Chloe? Yeah, I can't believe it's already the last day. Well, we'd better get ready to head home. Let's stop by a Whataburger on the way back. That sounds good. Let's go. Is there something wrong? Yeah, I was thinking about some of the stuff I heard about Oculus recently. The company that makes those VR headsets? Yes, that company. What are you angry at them about? Well, you know that VR right now is in its infancy. Yes, the first commercial headsets launched within the last few months. And, would you agree that adoption rates are low because the headsets are expensive, and the computers needed to use them have to be powerful? Yes, it's new technology, so it will be expensive, and the high cost for the PC hardware is because, VR needs high frame rates to prevent motion sickness. High resolutions are needed to prevent the screen door effect, which is also known to cause users issues. The head of Oculus stated publicly that the company would not attempt to lock users into using just their headset in games. Let me guess, that's changed. Yes. Recently, Oculus released an update which prevents people from playing Oculus-enabled games on other headsets like the HTC Vive. They've also implemented a DRM scheme that makes it very easy to pirate Oculus Rift games. I imagine a lot of people weren't very happy with this decision, especially after the head of the company said they wouldn't do anything of those things. That's putting it lightly, their pissed is more like it. VR is very new, it isn't even mainstream yet, and Oculus does this. I get it now why you're angry. These decisions by Oculus could threaten the future of VR. I'm glad you understand. Not everyone does. Some would say Oculus has a right to protect their intellectual property, but this isn't about protecting their IP. No, this is about protecting their market position. Their timing is bad. They've made these changes too early, and after the head of the company publicly stated they wouldn't do what they're doing now. Bad PR for a technology that hasn't yet reached widespread adoption. Drama like this can turn people off of VR entirely. True, several innovations failed because of bad decisions by the companies that made them. Remember Betamax? What is Betamax? Exactly what I mean. VR is a promising new technology that has the potential to revolution video games. But, all that could be put in danger because of corporate greed. If I remember right, wasn't Oculus acquired by Facebook? Yeah, they were. They invested a lot of money into Oculus Rift. That's what I thought, then this was likely a decision made by Facebook. Oculus is also allied with Microsoft. In what way? Every Oculus Rift headset ships with an Xbox One controller. It's looking worse by the moment. I know what you mean. It really doesn't look good. If there is one thing I know, it is how corporate influences can corrupt a company. It's happened to Facebook, it's happened to Nero burning ROMs, and it's happening to Google. All common sense flies out the window when the profit at any cost mindset takes root. Google's mantra at one time was, do no evil. Boy has that changed. They haven't become quite as evil as Microsoft used to be. But when they were, Microsoft turned being evil into an art form. Now, Facebook and Electronic Arts are both in the race to see which company is the most universally hated. Getting back to VR, Oculus has some competition now. Correct, the HTC Vive, the Razer OS VR, PlayStation VR, Samsung VR, and a few others which are lesser known. I've heard of the HTC Vive, but what is the OS VR? Well, you know who Razer is, right? Yeah, Razer makes gaming peripherals like keyboards, mice, headphones, and those gaming notebooks called the Razer Blade. Well, they are working on an open source VR headset which will be cheaper than the Oculus and Vive. For about $400 you can get the HDK, or hacker development kit that includes the headset and camera, the controllers which they are still working on, are a set of virtual reality gloves. 
They let you interact with objects in the virtual world, just like you would in the real world, simply by picking them up with your fingers. Now that sounds pretty cool. I think I saw them being demoed at a booth, but there were too many people there waiting to try it, so I didn't get to try it out. OS VR will work with Valve's OpenVR, which the HTC Vive has based on. So, any game on Steam that uses Steam VR should be compatible with the OS VR. Competition is a good thing. It gives consumers choices. Product lock-in takes away that choice, which is no choice at all. VR will only succeed when there is an accepted standard between the headsets. You never see a game that only works on one specific graphics card. That's because there is an accepted graphics API standard that all graphics card makers pretty much agree with. Well, mostly agree with. That's a topic for another episode. Needless to say, you don't have to worry about whether your game will work with AMD or NVIDIA. They just do, some better than others, but they all work. Now, imagine if NVIDIA suddenly came out with this thing which let only NVIDIA exclusive games work on their cards. If they didn't get sued immediately for antitrust, a lot of AMD card owners would be very pissed. Correct. Oculus isn't in a position of market dominance, yet they're acting like they are, and that's dangerous. Dangerous for the future of VR. The one good thing coming out of this is that people who were going to buy an Oculus are now looking at the Vive. And any headsets that supports Valve's Open VR will be compatible with games for the Vive. Still, VR's future is uncertain. Both the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive are very expensive. Oculus Rift has more mainstream game titles, but the HTC Vive has innovative homeroom experiences. While the Vive can be used for sit-down games just like the Oculus Rift, it has more games that are experimental, or are proof of concepts. Some VR games support both headsets, but not all of them. Oculus is causing fragmentation in a market that's very fragile, and that could kill VR before it even has a chance to really go anywhere. I don't believe VR is a fad, but you are right. My hope is consumers will gravitate towards alternatives to the Oculus Rift rather than abandon the technology entirely. Hopefully you're right. Wow, am I tired? That flight was rough. You can come in. Hey, long time no see. How was your trip? It was good. The flight was long though. Why didn't you use the ship of understanding? There was this thing about the professor needing the ship for something he was doing, so we had to take a plane instead. I see. Chloe, I came to see you for two reasons. First, because I miss you the past few days. But also because there is someone at one of the order safe houses who wants to meet you. The order is in the Crimson Circle. Yes, that order. Someone at our safe house here in the city wants to meet you. Who is that? It is best that you come to see for yourself, that's all I will say for the moment. Okay. If it is safe I don't see a problem with it. You'll be at a safe house of the order, surrounded by a dozen elite knights, me included. Why that much security? Not even the White House is that well protected. Let's just say the situation makes it necessary. Once you meet our guest you will understand. Okay, when can we go? Tomorrow evening. Why that late? Because, we are going to be busy until morning. Oh, that kind of busy. Yes, very busy. I'm going to see my daughter tomorrow. Am I really ready for this? I only hope, that she can forgive me. Sir, the system is ready. Are you certain you want to do this now? Yes, if what you tell me is true we have no other choice. Very well. Initializing system in 3, 2, 1. It worked, sir. You, you've been. I've been reborn. No longer am I the executive. What shall we call you then, sir? 
I'm the corporate corrupter, and I now have the power to challenge the one who nearly destroyed me. The professor? Yes, the man who was the reason why I had to hide my face behind that black mask. But no longer. What about the social justice warrior? She is of no consequence. I'm moving us to stage 5. Stage 5, but sir we aren't ready. That was before today, now we are finally ready to move forward. Then I will put our assets into motion. Do that, and I will focus on our goal. The ship of understanding.